everyone. Um, my name is Rachel. I'm an intern at Club Dreams this summer. Thank you, Grace and Caitlin, for accepting my Bake Off challenge. So today I'm going to be making um, some Oreo cupcakes. Um, the cupcakes will not have Oreo in it, but the frosting will. So let's get to it. All right. Um, so I have all my ingredients right here. So in a large mixing bowl, stick together the flour, cocoa powder, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Okay, now I have to whisk together the uh, sugars. Add the oil, buttermilk, egg, vanilla extract, and mix. Add the instant espresso powder to the half cup boiling water. This is now going to go in the oven for 17 to 20 minutes, and in the meantime, we'll make our frosting. The cupcakes are in the oven for a couple more minutes, um, and I'm going to be making. Um, in the meantime, the frosting for the cupcakes. So it's gonna be Oreo, um, crushed Oreos, powdered sugar, um, heavy cream, vanilla extract, and butter. And we're gonna beat these together. So the cupcakes are out of the oven and they look pretty good. Um, I think um, they're done. I put a flip through it and it came out for me. Um, and the frosting also looks, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it looks kind of like um, the description on the recipe. Hi everyone, I'm Caitlin. I'm an intern for Club Dreams and I accept Rachel's Oreo cooking challenge. So today I am going to be making Oreo balls. And now they sit in the fridge for 15 minutes. Thank you, Rachel, for challenging me to the Oreo Cookie Bake Off. I'm Grace, and today I'll be making Oreo Cookie Rice Krispie Treats. You can follow along at home with some of the ingredients I've put along to the side. We're going to be using a 9 by 13 pan with some parchment paper in the bottom so the Rice Krispies don't get stuck, 6 cups of Rice Krispies, 5 tablespoons of butter, 10 ounces of mini marshmallows, or one full bag, and last but not least, a package of Oreo cookies. Finally, for the topping, we're going to be using a third cup of white and semi-sweet chips, some salt, and a half tablespoon of coconut oil. That will be the drizzle on top. So the first step to this is to crush up 12 Oreos in a Ziploc bag. I'm going to be using a rolling pin. You can use the bottom of a jar, the back of a spoon, whatever you want to get them nice and crushed up. Even though this isn't technically baking and it's a bake-off, I really like this recipe because it was a lot more hands-on and I thought it was really fun to make these. Add the butter. I cube mine a little bit so it would melt a lot easier. Wait for that to melt. 
now that the butter is melted, we're gonna add the marshmallows. Make sure you get all of them. If my dog hears something he does not like. And we're gonna put a dash of salt. And then mix it all together. At this point, we're pretty much just making marshmallow fluff. Marshmallows are completely melted, so now we're going to pour in the Rice Krispies. I've added half of the crushed Oreos into that mix already because this part goes a little fast and you don't want this to cool. So now, you make the Rice Krispies. We've gotten about half into this pan. We're gonna flatten it out with a spatula. Or if you've got clean hands, that will work too. Keep this nice and flat because more Oreos are coming next. I'm actually gonna add a little more into the mix because it's getting a little too low. Now we're going to layer some Oreos on top of what we've already done. So here's kind of the filling to our Rice Krispie Treat. Now that we're all done with that step, I also had to break some in half to fill in the gaps. We're going to put the rest of this mix in there. Oh, this is going to be a little hard. See what I mean about how hands-on all of this is. Smoothed over, a little help for my mom. And now the other half of the crushed Oreos are going to be sprinkled over the top. Try to do that evenly, it's a little tricky. And after the topping, I put one third of white chocolate and one third of semi sweet morsels into separate bowls. And we're going to put one half teaspoon into each of coconut oil and microwave them at 20 second intervals until they're all melted. This is what we're going to pour right over the top. Just a little off on it for now. Yep. We have our third cup of melted chocolate. This one was supposed to be white chocolate, but as you can see, it is blue because my mom bought frozen two uh, chocolate to melt. So, you know, that's fine. Club Dreams is blue. We're just gonna drizzle this right over the top. You can make it fun, you can make some kind of pattern if you want, but I'm just gonna try to spread it evenly and everywhere up to We're gonna do this with both. Okay, now let's look for this one. Do this in two portions. I'm gonna do this one long ways. Ooh, that was fun. Maybe you'll have a little more luck in getting these stripes to be even. Okay. Here's the finished product. We've cut it up into little pieces. Thank you so much for watching. Now, uh, Rachel, Kate, and I challenge you to make your own Oreo treats. You can either do the ones we did or come up with your own and we'll shout you out on the Club Dreams Instagram page. Now, don't forget to vote when this video comes out on Instagram for whoever did it best.